News Alert. Okay, 859 now back at it. We start yeah. with that news. Uh, if you're now just joining us all morning long, uh, we have been keeping you updated. The Roebling Suspension Bridge uh, it was shut down due to a bomb threat. It is now back open. Yeah, Ken's been out there since probably about 530. That's when that bomb threat came in. Uh, again, we have Taylor Davis over on the Cincinnati side as well. Uh, again, because we're talking about both sides of the river being affected here with this yeah. uh, bomb threat. So yeah, let's go out to uh, to Ken Baker. Ken Baker and Ken, uh, have we been able to figure out if they found anything? Um, obviously, the all clear is there. If they know who made this phone call. Uh, Frank, the answer to that is no. Covington police, in fact, just moments ago, uh, saying that this was not a credible threat. Of course, they made this uh, made this decision after they used what they're calling numerous resources here below the bridge, over the bridge, around the bridge, all ways to rule out if there, in fact, was a threat. Uh, let's start at the beginning. So this morning at 5:30, Covington police said that a, mo a man called 911, uh, saying that he was going to blow up the bridge if he did not get uh, 400,000 dollars in cash uh, later saying other amounts of cash he had told officers allegedly that he had pop pipe bombs out here uh, that were ready to explode up uh, when we got here police say they even if the pipe bombs were here that's not enough to really blow up the suspension bridge so at this point the FBI has taken over this investigation and it doesn't become was it going to happen it's now who made that call uh, so that they can track down the person and hopefully get some charges nailed here nailed down here uh, as you saw all Brett people are now moving about. Uh, traffic is now open uh, on the water here, uh, vehicular traffic as well as uh, pedestrian traffic. So the good news here is no one was hurt this morning. And again, the FBI is now handling this investigation. I want to send it over to Taylor Davis. She's over on the Cincinnati side uh, with that update. Well, Ken, as you can see, the bridge is also open on this side. Of course, as you can see, cars are going across and also people are starting to walk across. But before this bridge opened, we did see several officers and even a canine checking out this bridge before they reopened it. And what I learned minutes ago from a Cincinnati police sergeant says that he believes this could have been a swatting event. He says that he heard that this happened in Tennessee and believes it's happening all over the country. Now, Cincinnati police did not get a call. However, he did hear there were multiple calls in over on the Kentucky side. Again, the bridge is reopened, and I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Okay, God, yeah. thank you, Taylor. Appreciate that update. Crews worked quickly and yeah. got it back open. So that's I mean, good news. We were talking about a number of agencies being down there yeah. uh, again, and they were they were talking for a while there about having to possibly close down other bridges. Thankfully, that didn't have to be the case. Unfortunately, we've seen this over the last year or two with schools. Yeah, we've seen a lot of it with our local grocery here, uh, Kroger. A lot of Kroger stores right. getting those swatting uh, swatting phone calls. Yeah, uh, I, as well, and it just it, it takes a lot of time, a lot of money sure. to investigate these things. And it puts people affected on, you know, puts their nerves on alert. Sure, absolutely. The only the difference here was though is that it seemed like a threat that was had direct intention in terms of I want four hundred thousand dollars. Right. So that seemed to be maybe varying a bit. But again, at this point, uh, back open there uh, the Roebling Bridge. Okay. So that's yeah, good, all good. We're gonna check it back out yep. with uh, Ken a little later. Eight